Hi, I'm Shane. Hi, I'm Kean. How you doing, folks? I'm Nikki. And I'm Mark, and we're Westlife. Check out our latest Star Talk on Bravo.de. It, it was, I think it was the, obviously the hardest point of our career. It was the hardest thing we had to do because it was a very sad day. You know, as Kean said, losing one of our brothers, you know, he was, he was with us for the last six years. So it was quite hard. But, you know, we got through it. Um, we felt Brian was very happy with the way it went. We were happy with the way it went. And we got our message across, I think, to the fans. So that's the, that's the main thing about this whole press conference, everything. We, we, we want to let, just let the fans know that we're going nowhere. We're very, very happy in Westlife. Unfortunately, Brian's not with us anymore. But we wish him the best of luck. And hopefully the fans will support Westlife as well now more than ever. You know, we, we need their support now more than ever. Also, um, I think being here today for us, um, it was very important, you know. At Fantastic. first, at first, we we felt like you know we wanted to cancel everything and concentrate on tour rehearsals. But then we realised that we need to be here. We need to show yeah, the German fans. fans yeah. We need to show the fans in the flesh that we're here. We're in Germany and we're here for a reason. You know, if you know, we're here for a reason because we've got another tour on. You know, we're coming back here in the summer for a tour. We're going to have another album out next November. There's loads more to come from Westlife. It's weird. Uh, yeah. Everything crossed my mind. Uh, we had five days of trying to. Uh, resuscitate the situation, trying to make him stay, and you know, trying to get to the bottom of his, you know, whatever was bothering him. Um, but realistically, you know, he's made his decision, and he wants to spend time with his, you know, his family and his kids. And you know, you've got to just when somebody you know, makes a decision that you know, as close to us as he is, you've got to respect that and and just let him, you know, let's move on and let him go. And it was difficult out there for us tonight. Uh, we did a TV show without him last night in Ireland. Um, but then also first time in Germany without him now and you miss him around the place you know it's simple things like this that you start to notice that there's four of us sitting here doing the interview and not Brian but um, you've just, you've just got to move on We've, it's time to move on now we're, we're a new band you know we're a new beginning now for us you know a new album to do a new tour and uh, you know the show must go on we kind of knew that Brian was a small bit unhappy for the last for the last few months but we didn't think it had gotten to the stage where he felt he wanted to leave the band so um, therefore when he told us we were very very shocked obviously um, but as Nicky said we have to respect his decision you know we have to look at it from his side and say you know you know if he finds it that hard then all we wish is happiness for him because he was still a very very close person to us he was still you know he was still one of our family on the road that we've had for the last six years you know like we know Brian you know if better just as well if not better than like some of our family members because we spent that much time with him so you know I mean we will miss him an awful lot but um, as Nicky said life has to go on for Westlife you know this isn't the end of Westlife whatsoever no way man no, no way. way I mean as we say, um, the thing that the thing a lot of people probably expected when they heard that Brian was leaving the group was for to the, for there to be some, you know, reason like some big argument that that started everything off. But the thing is, the truth about it is that we are still, uh, you know, very good friends with Brian. You know, he decided to leave the band, and as his friends, we decided if he wants to be happy, then let him be happy. Um, but we're not going to, you know, hate him for that or whatever. So, you know, we're going to keep in touch with him. He lives in Ireland. It's a small country. I'm sure we're going to see a lot of him in the future. Um, we won't see him, obviously, as much as we used to because he's not going to be on the road with us everywhere across the world. But, um, you know, we'll still see him. We'll text him or talk to him on the phone or maybe meet him for a drink or something like that, you know. And I think that's beautiful that we can do that because a lot of bands will just, you know, split up and hate each other and stuff like that. So it's nice. That it's not like that with us, you know. I think that would spoil everything to, of the last six years if it ended up in a big argument. So I, we're very happy that it hasn't. Brian certainly has a, a, a great voice, you know, and he's sung on a lot of Westlife songs in the past. Um, but the beauty of Westlife, we feel, is that it's not a band where just one or two people can sing, you know. Everybody has their own unique voices, and I think that. You know, if it was one or two people singing and one of the singers left, you know, it would be a bit weird because, I don't know, it wouldn't have the same depth to it, you know. But because the four of us still sing and we feel we sing well, we sing strongly, um, I think that, you know, it's not going to be as big of an issue, you know. Um, because, as I say, we can fill in, you know, for instance, our tour that's coming up right now, um, everybody else is going to take over Brian's parts, you know, some parts I will do, some part Nicky, some Shane, some Kean. And um, we've been rehearsing it and it sounds great because, as I say, we're lucky enough to have great singers in the band. We're coming to Oberhausen um, in June. Uh, we're going to be here the first week. I think it's the 
4th or 3rd of June, we're in Oberhausen, and the day before that we're in Hamburg doing an uh, outdoor festival. So we're going to be doing our concert and that as well. And it's going to be great fun, we're more, very much looking forward to it, and it's going to be a lot of songs off the new album, Turn Around, and it's going to be a lot of our old hits as well. But it's a very, very classy, slick show. A few suits in it, you know, a few little slick numbers, it's going to be good. The, the song, obviously, it's obviously a love song. It's about sorry, Nicky, <laughs> it's a bit hard. Though. It's about um, it's about uh, a guy who's who's really really good friends with this girl, and um, he's more than he in his own mind he's in love with her and he wants to be with her, and um, he's tried very very hard to to let her know that he's in love with her, but um, she doesn't know. seem to get the message. So um, he's wrote this song called Obvious, and he's singing the song to her. So that's basically what it's about. And they started off as friends. Then something happened inside of him. We shot the video in India, Goa. in Goa, um, just Goa. before Christmas, and uh, it was the first time ever to India. And to be honest, it, it opened up our eyes a little bit because it's a very poverty-stricken country, and it was a bit yeah. well, it was not somewhere that I think we'd revisit too quickly. But um, it, shooting the video with it, you know the beach and stuff was amazing. The light, the sun. It was beautiful, and the concept of the video, you know, we didn't write it. We, you know, we don't know. We just we tell us how to go to, and we read the script, um, yeah. and it's a bit over. But um, <laughs> it's just a lot of fire in it. <laughs> a lot, a lot of fire in it, and uh, so it, it yeah, works. Good. It works quite well for a pop video, and uh, like you know, you, you should never take pop videos too serious. You know, I don't think you should actually sit there and watch it like you watch a movie. You know, you just watch it and, you know, if the people in it are look, uh, you know, they look good and they're singing well, well, that's a pop video for you. It doesn't really matter what it's about. We don't know, you know, we'll never close that door, um, you know, to, to that option. But for now, I think we've got to, we've got to kind of concentrate on, on Westlife as a four piece because, you know, Brian has made the decision. Obviously, we would love to that decision to have never happened, but it's happened now and you know we've got to move on, we've got to not think of Westlife as a five piece now for the time being because we have to be strong and be able to get on that stage and show the audience that we're still Westlife, very much Westlife, which, which you know we've said already once this tour starts you know we look forward to it an awful lot, we're very excited because now you know we, we, this is, especially now, everybody talked about Westlife breaking up for the last two years, this is when we, we are so determined to make sure that we keep Westlife together and, and to prove to ourselves and to our fans that, that Westlife are unbreakable and that's, you know, that's the way we kind of look at it.